Seamotive Technologies is a clean tech startup based in Madison, Wisconsin that is working to commercialize the first ever electrostatic motor. Motors are the hidden heartbeat of our world, spinning inside cars, factories, fans, and even your phone. For over a century, copper coils and magnets have done the job, but at a heavy cost. They're expensive, wasteful, and tied to fragile supply chains. Now here's the surprise. The future of motion might not be magnetic at all. Engineers are reviving static electricity, the same spark you discovered by rubbing a balloon on your hair and turning it into a game changer. Could this forgotten force truly rewrite how our world moves? The reign of electromagnetic motors. Electric motors are everywhere. They sit inside fans, drills, trains, and even the phone in your hand. For over a hundred years, engineers have relied on one simple principle to make them work. Electricity flows through copper coils. That current creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field pulls against permanent magnets. The push and pull spin the rotor, and that spinning creates motion. This design has been refined again and again. It is powerful, it is dependable, and it has built the modern world. Yet it is not without serious flaws. Copper used in coils is heavy and costly. Permanent magnets often require rare earth metals that are mined under harsh conditions. Motors also release heat as they run, wasting energy and demanding cooling systems to survive. Engineers have pushed the limits of this design to achieve higher efficiency, but progress has slowed. At some point, the old method stops giving easy wins. The forgotten force, static electricity. Long before modern motors filled factories and cars, another force was already known. Children discover it by accident when they rub a balloon on their hair and watch it cling to a wall. That invisible pull is static electricity. It is simple, yet powerful enough to move objects without a single magnet. In the mid-18th century, Benjamin Franklin played with this strange effect. He built a small device called an electric wheel. It used metal pieces charged by a jar that stored static electricity. The wheel turned because of attraction and repulsion between the charges. It was clever, but at the time, the technology was too weak to replace mechanical engines. Over the years, inventors returned to magnets because they provided more torque and could scale up. Static electricity, on the other hand, remained a classroom trick or a curiosity in science labs. What makes the story remarkable today is that the same forgotten principle is being re-examined. Engineers now ask whether static electricity, controlled with modern tools, could finally rival the power of magnets. C-Motive's radical shift. A small company named C-Motive has taken the old static electricity idea and rebuilt it for the modern world. Their design looks nothing like the heavy motors we are used to seeing. Instead of copper coils and strong magnets, they use thin plates set on the rotor and stator. High voltage is applied to these plates, and the electric field between them creates a force. Attraction and repulsion turn the rotor, producing motion without magnets or windings. To handle the high voltage, the motor is filled with a special insulating fluid. This liquid prevents sparks from jumping across the plates and allows the system to run safely at levels that reach 5 to 15 kilovolts. While that number sounds dangerous, it is controlled within a closed system built for the task. The simplicity is striking. With no windings to wrap and no rare earth materials to buy, the motor is lighter and easier to assemble. C-Motive claims its models can be half the weight of conventional ones while still delivering useful power. What was once only a scientific demonstration now looks like a real alternative. By replacing magnets with static force, C-Motive is trying to rewrite the rules of motion. The Efficiency Breakthrough 
Efficiency is the measure of how much energy goes into useful work instead of being lost. Traditional motors usually reach around 84 to 90 percent. That is good, but it still means a large slice of power is wasted as heat. C-Motive claims its electrostatic motors can reach up to 99 percent. That difference might appear small on paper, but the effect is huge when scaled to thousands of machines. Imagine a factory floor lined with motors running every hour of the day. Even a 1% increase in efficiency in all could save enough electricity to supply millions of homes. Less wasted energy also means cooler machines. When motors do not overheat, they last longer, and downtime is reduced. This level of performance pushes close to the physical limit of what is possible. In practice, this means lower business costs and lower grid demand. It also means less carbon released, since less fuel is burned to produce wasted electricity. The promise of such high efficiency is one of the strongest reasons engineers are paying attention to this unusual design. Cutting copper and rare earths. One of the biggest costs in building motors comes from the metals inside them. Copper is needed in large amounts for windings, and permanent magnets depend on rare earth elements. Both are expensive and carry environmental and political risks. Electrostatic motors avoid almost all this. Since their design does not need heavy coils on the rotor, copper use drops by as much as 90%. That is a major saving at a time when copper prices continue to rise with global demand. Even more important is the complete removal of rare earth magnets. These materials are mined mostly in a few countries, and the process is dirty and difficult. It leaves chemical waste and creates long supply chains that can break under pressure. By designing a motor that operates only on voltage differences, C-Motive sidesteps the need for these scarce resources. The impact is not just cost, it is also about independence. Companies would not be tied to risky suppliers or regions. Building motors without rare earths means cleaner production, more stable prices, and less damage to fragile environments where mining takes place. Lighter, simpler, cooler. Traditional motors are heavy machines filled with dense coils, thick iron cores, and solid magnets. Electrostatic motors detach from that weight. By using slim plates and high voltage fields, the entire structure becomes far lighter. Some designs weigh only half as much as their magnetic rivals, making them easier to move and install. The design also reduces complexity. With fewer parts to assemble, production lines can be simpler and cheaper to run. Less material means fewer points of failure, and that translates into longer service life. Heat, the silent killer of motors, is also cut down. Because losses are so low, the system does not cook itself during operation. All this makes the engine more reliable in the long term. Machines that run cooler and carry less weight suffer less stress. That means fewer breakdowns, less maintenance, and more predictable operation. In industries where downtime can cost millions, this kind of simplicity is not just convenient, it is powerful. The hidden challenges. Every new technology brings obstacles, and electrostatic motors are no exception. The most pressing issue is voltage. These machines run at levels measured in thousands of volts, far higher than what most motors ever need. High voltage creates risks of arcing, insulation failure, and serious safety concerns. C-Motive uses special fluids and careful design to control this, but it adds cost and complexity. Another weakness is torque density. At small scales, the electrostatic force is not as strong as the magnetic force. This means that while the motors are efficient, they cannot yet provide the heavy push required for cars, trucks, or aircraft. For now, they are better suited to steady loads rather than rapid acceleration. There is also the challenge of infrastructure. Factories and suppliers are built around electromagnetic motors. 
shifting to a completely different approach requires new training, new production lines, and new standards. These hurdles do not erase the promise of the technology, but they slow down how quickly it can reach everyday use. Where they'll be used first. Electrostatic motors may not appear in cars or planes anytime soon, but their path into industry is already visible. The first real impact will likely come in places where energy use is massive and steady. Factories that run pumps, blowers, and conveyor belts are perfect examples. These machines consume power around the clock, and even small efficiency improvements can translate into huge savings. By operating cooler and lighter, electrostatic motors can reduce both running costs and downtime in such environments. Renewable energy is another clear starting point. Wind turbines and hydro systems benefit from slow and efficient rotation rather than brute torque. With stationary setups, engineers can design for the high voltage needs of the motors while keeping safety under control. This makes renewable projects a natural testbed for the technology. Looking ahead, the potential grows even larger. If voltage and torque challenges are solved, electrostatic motors could extend far beyond factories and turbines. Imagine a world where magnets and heavy copper coils are no longer required. Supply chains would be freed from rare earth mining, costs would stabilize, and efficiency would approach near perfection. What once seemed a forgotten science trick could quietly reshape the very core of motion itself. The story of electrostatic motors feels familiar and new. A simple force known for centuries now stands ready to challenge the foundations of modern industry. No magnets, little copper, less heat, and efficiency close to perfect. The road ahead will be tough, but the promise is too large to ignore. Factories, power plants, and renewable systems may be the first to see this quiet revolution. The real question is whether the world is ready to embrace it. Could static electricity, once seen as a toy, become the future of motion? The answer waits beyond the horizon.